My name is Danny Plotnik. I'm the film video teacher at San Francisco University High School, a great independent school located in Pacific Heights. Each year, our visual arts teachers curate programs where we bring in professional artists to show their work and teach in the classroom. This month, I've curated a program of art and animation by a great Portland-based artist named Lori Damiano. Hello, my name is Lori D, and this is my show, Mountain Time. It's mostly gouache paintings, and some of it is uh, my illustration work and other things are just personal paintings and I also make animation that's been my main focus for the last six years so I've been just painting for fun. I usually start with a some kind of an idea whether it just be a color idea or a narrative idea and the whole pleasure for me in, in making things is just to to wait and see how it evolves. So I feel like I'm looking at these paintings the same way that other people are and I don't I don't have any advantage as far as interpretation necessarily because it was a surprise to me too. I paint the same kind of people over and over, these archetypes of my experience growing up in suburbia, I guess in California and the West Coast mainly in 80s and 90s. So um, there's, I think of it as sort of my own personal folklore. So here are these icons of, of my experience and these are the heroes in, in my culture. And um, so they're often very ordinary or mundane figures, like you see them everywhere. But for me, they're my heroes. So I like to honor them by featuring them in these little vignettes where I'm highlighting them in the way that people might have done in like a manuscript or some other way where they're, ta they're capturing like um, a legend of their people. So these are my people. I'm interested in, in self-importance. So we take ourselves very seriously and I think that's amusing and wonderful and dangerous and so I often paint narratives that feature someone in some kind of a on some kind of a journey or personal mission but the actions are often very ordinary like washing a car but they're taking it very seriously because this is their car and this is a very important task whereas in an old manuscript you might see a battle occurring or something or some kind of a religious ceremony, but these are our ceremonies. I have my paintings somewhat grouped, and there's one group that is a group of gleaners. I was living in the San Joaquin Valley on my family's pistachio farm, and I was harvesting my vegetable garden every day. So I would lay out everything that I harvested on the grass. And that was, my, that was my bounty and my riches. And it made me think of my friend's um, photographs, my friend Andrew Jeffrey Wright. He takes photos every time he gets paid with his money. And he lays it out, so I kind of was playing off of, of his photos with his money, because those, those are my treasures, my vegetables. <laughs> These are illustrations. I have a column in the skateboard mag. It's called The Learnings Of. And I ask a different pro or am skateboarder every month to write up something, some kind of secret knowledge that they have that maybe the kids wouldn't know about them. Um, any kind of advice or they could, some people put recipes in or whatever. So anyway, these are illustrations for different learnings of columns for, that different pro skateboarders wrote. This picture of, of this man with the wolf standing on top of him is, it was a poster for Will Oldham's latest album, Lie Down in the Light. And this is, a, this is my interpretation of the United States of America's self-image, this picnic. This one, it's called Little Fires, and it's got a bunch of people hunched over campfires, and I made that for this company in Canada called Lifetime Collective, and it's just about our personal values and how we have these little 
little bonfires within us that we'll, we'll fight for. And everybody's got a different, a different little bonfire. The reason that I've started painting and that I love to paint is because it, it allows me to have something to give and to connect with other people. And it's been amazing, like painting has allowed me to connect with so many people that I've been inspired by and um, wanted to meet. And it's allowed me to travel all over the place. So for me, it's more about just meeting other people who like to make things and, and getting out there and, and visiting everybody.